Okay, Joy, begin writing. I have a mystery for you. As you enter the seventh heaven, you shall see nothing but golden light. The gold shall sparkle as soon as you engage. Closer. Now, in order for you to come close, there needs to be anointing on you. Just like during Moses' time, I anointed the priest to come close into the inner compartment to the tabernacle. I will fill you with light. What about the angels who are most closest to you? Won't they seize me? No. I forewarn them about your presence so that they will not do that, but fully accept you with love and know your intentions. They feel your love even now as you remain on earth. Now back to close from the proximity of the temple place in the seventh heaven. I will fill you with light and cover you with gold essence that comes from me, your father. Now, my daughter, do not fear, just approach me. As you get closer, more and more anointing will come. As the closer you become, the brighter it will be. And we have only reached the magnetic porch where my children present their prayers to me. Stand under it. You shall feel a force, but it is a good force, for it comes from me. Why are you telling me this? Do you not want me to tell you? Well, I do want to know, Father, but I can't even begin to go all the way. I'll probably burn. You won't. You are here spiritually, and I have organised your spiritual self so that you are able to contain all of my glory at once. You can contain. There will be mounts of protection over you, as well as the golden covering. Now approach the porch. You'll be fine. What do you feel? I feel an electrified current, but it doesn't hurt me. Instead, it runs through emanating. Am I talking to the Father or the Son of God? Who do you think? Both. That's right. Because the Father is in the Son, and the Son in the Father. Correct. Now for part of the bride, you were having doubts with that. You now know. What else do you feel, Joy? I feel love and light, but so much, and there is another presence here. Who is this presence? Could it be the Prince of the Presence? And... Wisdom with the leaves of life. Correct. Now leave the porch and walk forward, very slowly. What are you embracing? This area is full of light, a bright white light, and there are golden sparkles of dust scattered around. I am gliding on air and I feel immense love and power. Can you feel anything else? I feel invisible material all around me, like a blanket. The blanket speaks of love and peace and kindness. This blanket is Rosh Hakodesh, the Holy Spirit. He is gliding with me and whispering secrets of this place. Let the world know these secrets, Joy. This place is the temple of holiness. Peace is its doors, kindness is its pillars, love flows like air. The faithfulness of the waves in this heavenly atmosphere is more free and more full of life. The golden essence comes from the Father and he flows it out of him to give us beauty to his holy, precious, pure, precious one. His gentle ones who seek out love and peace every moment they are awake and while they sleep. Gentleness is the food we eat and life is the water we drink. Sound is different as it flows in a melody of song and praise. Soft, gentle notes, but now I am reaching a different section and the waves of the atmosphere are changing. They are more electrified and quick. It is like I'm going through a whirlwind to a whirlwind of spinning and now it's brighter. A gold is coming down, more sparkles and light. The protection is coming, my darling. You will be covered over this. Remember those who are listening. She is only here spiritually, and I am God of the impossible. I can, cons I can sustain any creation to undergo what needs to be done.